Okay, so first things first, get the bangs out of your hair if you have any. And I'm using a, a dollar store roller. You could get anywhere from Walmart to Target, anywhere, a dollar store tall tree. And so I'm going to roll it back um, instead of rolling forward to um, dismiss the whole circle bangs effect. This will um, give you really nice side swept bangs. So if you have. Um, the same length of bangs that I do. This is a great technique. Um, so this is now out of my face and um, I could get started with putting on any type of makeup I want to. So first things first, you want to also moisturize, which I've already done. I, get, I use Seal Bigelow and then I'm taking a powder, which is um, my rice powder, um, Paul Dio. I'm going to list everything aside. So if you have any questions of what products I use, it'll be on the side. And then this is my Neutrogena Sunblock Lotion, and I'm going to use this and mix it up with the powder. This is a technique during summertime where you really want that tinted moisturizer, but you just don't have it. And this is great because my Neutrogena SPF 90 Sunblock is um, very, very moisturizing, and it'll give you that glowing look. So I'm just mixing it up on top of my little palette right there. Okay, so after mixing it, I just use it as a highlighting tool all over my face and substituting for foundation, and this will give you a glowing effect instead of a cakey effect. And then now I'm going to use my Skin Finish Powder by MAC, and I'm just going to put this all over my T-zone. We'll give it a mattify it because it gets oily there. And then now I have my Clinique a Glow Blush, and I'm just going to go ahead and use it as a contour um, instead of just putting it on my chin. And then I'm also using my fan brush to contour. Now I'm going to put tape on my eyes just to um, kind of erase, take off the fallouts that have been coming from eyeshadow. This will give it a nice clean effect on the eyes. Now I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in orange for my base, all over the lips. And then I'm going to use a yellow eyeshadow all over the top of that, on the top of the lids, on top of the um, orange shadow. I'm going to use a contouring brush and just putting um, a pink eyeshadow. And then now I'm using a purpley kind of eyeshadow with my angle liner brush and I'm just blending that through. Blending it away. And you can see it's kind of smoky. Now I'm using my Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liner in Black. And I'm just going to start from the middle to the outer corner. And kind of wing it out just a little bit. And then from the inner corner to the middle to give it a flawless um, line um, connecting the two. Just do it both sides. And try to make it even as possible. You don't have to be perfect, but you can be nice. Just go ahead and do it precisely. I like felt tip um, eyeliner pencils are better. Let's remove the tape now from your eyes. And then choose just any highlighting um, highlighter shadow. And I'm just using the third one down from the Coastal Sense palette. As you can tell, I'm just putting them below my eyebrows to highlight um, my shadows. And um, also I um, added to below my eyes just to highlight it a little bit more as well. Okay, so I'm just using a kind of peel a pinkish um, color for my lips. This will kind of accent my um, sunburst eye look, beach eye look that is. And now I'm going to take my Revlon Curling Iron and I'm going to set that um, to heat up. So I'm putting, turning it on while I'm doing my mascara. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Um, I'm using this um, curling eye, um, eyelash curler from Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store. And I'm just curling both sides. Um, I usually use falsies sometimes when I'm doing makeup tutorials for my friends, but um, for now, the beach, you don't really need it. So I'm going to use this really excellent mascara from L'Oreal. It's a double extent, waterproof. So then again, this one, I cried so many times and my mascara never ran. So this is an excellent mascara for dramatic eye that will not feel you when water splashes in your face. So it's also a great recommendation for beach mascara. 
So I'm going to use the white side and just curling it up, um, wiggling my wand as I go up. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to use the dark black, or the blue side, and this is in black, so I'm just going over the white side and curling it up as well. It gives you a really dramatic eye for me, um, the, for a person that doesn't have um, much eyelashes, this is a great mascara. Okay, now I'm going to um, use actually concealers to kind of go over like little spots where I kind of messed up a little bit. Just want to um, get rid of that. So this is kind of correcting technique. You can use concealer. Okay, so it's time to curl the hair. Now I'm going to use Tresemme's um, heat protecting spray and just spray it all over the hair, especially the tips because you do not want um, dry tips you just want a really healthy um, glowing hair um, really healthy beach hair so I'm just curling it away from the face and I just recently cut my hair so this is gonna go by really fast it only usually takes um, five minutes maybe less or more and I'm just like randomly curling it's beach so it should be messy and that's why I'm doing it so softly um, if it was more formal hairdo, I would um, hold it for a long time, but this one is just really, really, really messy. Messy beach tossel curls. And so I'm just doing that um, all over my hair. I think my right side looked better than my left, but <laughs> who cares? <laughs> there you go. And I'm just putting this all over. And scrunch my hair up. Do you tell it looks like... I just like pulled my hair out, just keep pulling it up for volume, more volume, just now I recurled my hair a little bit, just to have a little bit more curls, even on both sides. And now I just pull the center part for more volume and tease it, just in the center part. You don't want too much, just, um, just one tease is fine, one strand or one, um, yeah, clump of hair and just tease that part. Um, that's all I'm going to tease. I'm going to use, I just use any spray. I use my Aussie Instant Freeze spray. If you use any um, hairspray, it doesn't really matter. And then I comb it down a little bit with my round brush. Um, it's still trying to get the messy effect from the beach. So, yeah, it's really, really messy. Um, now I take off my curler, um, and that's the effect of. Um, curling the bangs backwards and I spray a little spritz just to hold it a little bit more. This is the beach um beach ball hairdo so um there you go it's makeup and hair tutorial for S2 Panda Apple um contest number two and so um I was inspired by the beach it's summertime and why not um do something that will help everyone during the season so everyone have a good weekend week whatever um just remember to comment rate and subscribe and if you have any questions just let me know and I will get back to you soon. <laughs>